Hey guys, Simon from Prolific Soccer here, and today I'm going to be showing you some two-player passing drills and some three-player passing drills. Let's go. Alright, so this first exercise requires a partner and four cones. Each partner will have a gate that you will touch the ball through. The gates are about a step apart and 10 yards away from your partner's gate. The first touch is across your body with the inside of your feet. Make sure you switch which foot you are touching the ball with so you aren't just touching the ball with your left foot the whole time. The important part here is to pass the ball with pace to the correct foot of your partner so that he can take a good touch through the gate of cones. You always want to keep the ball on the ground and accurately pass the ball to the correct foot of your teammate so that you can keep possession of the ball. Small things like this matter in a game. The next drill also requires a partner and four cones. This drill is set up in the shape of a trapezoid. As you can see, the two yellow cones in front are about a step apart and then the red cones are diagonal from those yellow cones about seven to eight steps away. Here you will start with fast feet through the yellow cones, receive the ball, play a one touch pass back to your partner, back pedal, and receive the ball with your back foot. Take a touch, then pass around the red cone, move to the next red cone, receive the ball, one touch back, and then receive the ball again for another one touch and repeat the drill. For this one, each of us went around five times and that equaled one rep. We did two to three reps going each way. This drill also requires the serving partner to really set the pace. You have to pass to the correct foot, like I said earlier, and move with the working partner to provide good passing angles throughout the drill. That's why we like this drill so much. It requires a lot from both partners whether you are working or not. Now on to the three player passing drills which require five cones. You will have one cone five yards outside of a square of cones all about five yards away from each other. Here in this drill all the partners will be rotating. You start off by passing to the checking partner. He will one touch it back to you while opening up to create space. He'll receive the ball again and with two touches pass it to the third partner checking off of his cone. The third partner will play a 1-2 pass with the second partner and then pass it to the partner who started the drill as he is checking off the cone. Then you rotate and repeat. Here in this drill we are always working on trying to pass the ball to the correct foot and keeping the ball on the ground as much as possible, all while trying to play as fast as we can to get better. But in this drill we are also working on timing, which is important to create space from your defender. Watch how we don't check off the cones until the partner that is passing to us is just about to receive the ball. If you do this movement too early, the defender will just easily follow you and you won't have space to receive the ball. If you time it correctly, you will open up a lot of space for yourself and your team. This second three player passing drill has the same cone setup, just a different pattern for the players. Here we only rotated the two players inside of the square. We eventually rotated the serving partner after a couple repetitions. Here the serving partner plays the ball to the checking partner and then plays the ball far to the third partner. The second partner times his run to support the third partner and plays a series of one two passes around the cones to then rotate and repeat. Again, this drill is also working on the timing of your supporting runs and accuracy of your passes. Keep trying to play as fast as you can to really challenge yourself and become better. Alright guys, if you've made it to this part of the video, we appreciate you so much. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe down below to our channel so you can get weekly training content. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram at prolific.soccer where we post daily soccer and workout videos. Alright guys, we'll see you guys next time.